Sticking a cork stripe. How to do it? For mounting a cork stripe on an instrument's tenon, a durable bond will be required. Here are two examples with different adhesives. Coat the recorder's tenon socket lightly with a power glue like made by Patex. Spread the glue with the aid of the cork. Once done, then the glue is also applied carefully to one side of the cork. Avoid adhesive remains at the edges. Allow to dry the glue for 7 to 10 minutes. Then fit the cork to the tenon socket. Ensure to start at the height of the thumb hole and take care to guide the cork straight forward by pulling it gently around the tenon. Control the result and press well. We will explain later how to sand the cork properly. If using wood glue like Ponal, the recorder's tenon socket is coated with a paintbrush or the aid of the cork spreading a mid-sized drop of glue. The recorder's middle joint can be fixed at a blunt edge of the table. The cork stripe is put on the tenon socket and compressed. Wrapped with the cork, the cork stripe remains well compressed until the glue is dry. Please note to remove surplus adhesive before. After a drying time of around 2 hours, the cord can be unwrapped again. For a perfect shape of the cork, with a pair of scissors cut out a piece of sandpaper in the size of a cork stripe. We recommend a 220 grain. Carefully sand the cork. Steadily check if head joint and middle joint already start fitting together. If the parts can be plugged for about two thirds, use some tenon grease and lubricate the cork. If necessary, repeat sanding and greasing the parts. We wish you a successful corking of your recorders.